Thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's Living the Van Life adventure. Dang, that thing burned down pretty dang quick. I was surprised how that burns to just ashes. I had that thing loaded up to the hilt last night. I was surprised at how good it burns down by morning time. And I'm just left with ashes, which is super easy to clean out. Turn it back into the woods, let mother nature do its thing. But the cool thing is it's completely no trace so we're not leaving burn marks on the ground, which is important. This was last night's camp spot. Super cool spot. Great view. Almost like a park-like setting. Had the whole entire place to myself, which was cool. Super quiet. It's nice being out here away from other campers and just being able to do your thing. Pretty cool for sure. All right, well, I'm gonna finish packing up camp. I gotta make it back down to town, grab a few supplies for tonight's camp out, see what we can get into today. the morning packing up camp offloaded yesterday's footage onto the hard drive and now headed down out of my camp spot gotta head into town pick up some supplies dispose of some garbage and see what the day brings I'm gonna be headed westbound 
out across Highway 20 here in Northwest Washington, headed back over to the west side, which means we're gonna be headed up to Washington Pass, which is a beautiful, freaking stunning drive. I'm gonna swing into town, grab a few simple things for a meal this evening, and we'll see you guys on the road. So this is the little town of Twisp, Washington. It's on the eastern slopes of the Cascade Mountains, just about as far north as you can get here in Washington State. But Twisp is a cool little town. It's a bit of a western feel. It's quaint. But if you're ever passing through here on Highway 20 headed over the Cascades, you definitely got to stop in here, hit up the Cinnamon Twisp Bakery, as well as the Grover Street Market. Two very cool places. Every time I'm passing through here, that's where I go. Next up, I'm off to Cinnamon Twist. Got to get some of those goodies while we're at it. It's part of being on the road. Oh, very good. I'll take that receipt too. Oh man, my mouth is watering. These things are so unbelievably delicious. Look at that ooey gooeyness right there. So good. Huh. 
This shouldn't be legal. I feel like you get addicted to this. <laughs> this is definitely a must have. Anytime you're passing through this area, it's freaking, it's like nothing you've ever had before, honestly. I better stop while I'm ahead. This could get out of control. <laughs> okay, snack time over. I'm gonna save the rest for later. Oh, I was just finishing up my cinnamon twist when my phone started blowing up. Turns out it was Simply Safe letting me know that my alarm back in the edit studio was going off. I was able to jump into the app right here on my phone and check out the camera and turns out it was just Eldod trying to get in the office to do some business stuff. So I was actually able to shut the alarm off all the way from across the state and let him in so he could do what he needed to do. It turns out Simply Safe is the sponsor of today's video. Now Simply Safe is an incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure your home, or in my situation, office space, is safe. You just order it online or over the phone, it's delivered right to your home, you can do it all yourself. And I can vouch for that, it's super simple. When I got my system, I had it up and running within an hour. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, temperature sensors, and HD cameras. Exit now. Simply safe on. From there, your home or office is professionally monitored 24 7. If anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. You get around the clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts. The great thing is, no matter where I'm at in the world, as long as I have cell phone service, Simply Safe will be in touch with me and I can monitor exactly what's going on from the edit studio. So for me, out on the road, it's a great peace of mind. For your chance to set up your home with this system and make sure that you are safe and secure, head on over to www.simplysafe.com forward slash LTVL. From here, got to jump over to the fuel station, fuel this bad boy up so that we can make it over the pass safe and sound. I like to make sure the van's full anytime I'm headed out anywhere, especially out over Washington Pass and the North Cascade Highway because it gets pretty remote out there. So I want to make sure I've got plenty of fuel. That's kind of my rule of thumb anytime I'm doing anything out in the remote, I always make sure I got plenty of fuel. Freaking gorgeous up here. There is a very cool waterfall out across the valley over here to my left. And it is raging right now because of the spring melt off. I'm gonna put the drone up 
and see how close I can get to it across the valley over there, see if we can get some cool shots. I would say that is precisely why they call this the Cascade Mountains because it's cascading waterfalls like that that are just everywhere up here in the mountains especially this time of the year because of all the spring melt off. Normally this highway is completely closed during the winter time because there is 20 to 40 feet of snow right here where I'm standing. It was only a couple weeks ago that this opened for the season. This is the top of Washington Pass. And to put it simply, it's just, it's stunning. Look at that view out here behind me. We're at about five and a half thousand feet in elevation. I would say that this drive gives the true essence of how rugged these Cascade Mountains really and truly are. 
because this highway, it puts you right smack dab in the middle of it. Like I said, all of the winter, this highway is completely shut down. There's massive avalanche chutes that shut everything down and it's impossible to try and keep up with it over the winter. But the views, you can't beat it. Just can't beat it. Look at that. There's no words. There's no words to even describe it. Well, you can tell we're starting to approach the western half of Washington State because it's now starting to spit rain. That's the interesting thing about Washington State. On the western half, it's like a rainforest. Out east, it's more desertish and dry. So, looks like the rain might set in. We'll see what happens. Made it out here to Diablo Lake Overlook. I don't think I've ever been here when the wind is not blowing. I was hoping to get some drone shots today, but I just don't think that's gonna happen, not in this wind. So we're just gonna have to enjoy the view from the ground. Another one of my favorites on the North Cascade Highway.
That was a nice, simple meal pulled off the highway to a quiet little spot here along the Skagit River just below Diablo Dam. Perfect little spot to cook a quick, simple meal. I've got my cooking tools and utensils all cleaned up. I'm gonna pack this show up and get back on the road. I'd like to thank you guys for joining along on this here road trip. Please like and subscribe. Make sure and leave a comment in the comment section down below the video. All right guys. I'll see you on the next Living the Van Life Adventure. Peace out. Keep on trucking.